Question 8. Solid carbon dioxide is similar to solid iodine in its structure and properties. Okay, which statement about CO2 and the solid SiO2 is correct? Okay, so first we need to know CO2 when it's in solid, okay, it's just like iodine. So it will be in a fixed position, I mean all the molecules. And between the molecules, they're going to have uh, ID, ID, means uh, all these molecules, they will have the intermolecular force, mostly is uh, ID, ID forces. And for this one, it has the simple molecular structure. And when the force force between molecules, SiO2 is giant molecular structure and there are covalent bonds between the atoms, the Si, the silicon and oxygen atom, uh, in the covalent networks like this. So it will be just covalent bond in the structure. But in this CO2, it has the ID ID forces between the molecules, and the molecule itself within the molecules it has covalent bond. Okay, so now, A, both solid exist in the lattice structure. So this one is uh, also a, a lattice structure, and this one also lattice structure. It just, uh, this one is a simple molecule, and this is a giant molecule. Okay, B, both solid have a same molecular structure, so this is wrong because it has simple for CO2 and SO2 is giant. Okay, C. Both solid ha have atoms joined by single covalent bond? No. Nope. SiO2 it has a uh, covalent bond, but CO2 it has two types. Okay, so this one's wrong. D. Both solid change spontaneously to gas. CO2 easily uh, change to gas, but SO2, SiO2, uh, it's quite difficult for it to change to gas okay, at the STP. So that's why answer confirmed is A. Both solid exist as in the lattice structure. Okay, that's all for this question. Thank you.